Ah, oh, casual walk into frame. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm actually here at uh, Washington Square Park today in Greenwich Village. You've probably been to this park a billion times, but there's a lot you don't know about it. Uh, so we're gonna do a little quick walk of this little uh, neighborhood park. One of my favorite places to come people watch. But before we start, uh, do me a favor, check out the Patreon. That's a huge help. That's actually what funds these videos. Got the link there if you want. Um, check it out. Uh, also, too, like the video, give it a little thumbs up right before you start. You're going to like this video, anyway, let's be honest. Uh, and also, too, subscribe. That helps a ton, too. Get all that business out of the way, and then uh, I guess we'll, we'll get started. Um, Stewie, how you doing? Let's do it! <laughs> all right, you doing okay, though? That's more important for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, good, I'm glad. Um, all right, well, uh, I guess we'll, we'll start walking here and uh, let's do it. Let's do it. So before we start actually walking, I wanna talk about what I'm looking at next to me. This is actually the Washington Square Arch. So this is the centerpiece of the whole park. Ah, oh, how beautiful, right? Modeled after the, the Arch of Le, the, the Arc de Triomphe of Paris, France, which was built in the mid 1800s. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller, but it's still better. <laughs> And uh, it's actually meant to commemorate Washington, uh, the 100 years since Washington was inaugurated in New York City because this was the capital of the United States. Uh, for a few years after the Revolutionary War, you have Washington, the statesman, and Washington, the general. The only one missing is Washington, the slave owner. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of a bummer, but uh, this arch was actually built in 1895 by Stanford White, very famous architect. The original one was built in 1889, uh, but it was wood and plaster. It got so popular that they built a permanent one a few years later, 1889, because that was 100 years after the inauguration, 1789, which was done down on Broad Street and Wall. Uh, I, I'll talk about, I talk about that in a different video. I think I talked about that one in the uh, Lower Manhattan video, the uh, Financial District. Check that one out, baby. Let's keep moving. So also, too, as we're walking, one thing to keep in mind is that this is where Fifth Avenue begins. Fifth Avenue begins here at the park and just goes straight north, going all the way up next to the park, all the way up pretty much through Manhattan. You got uh, the museums all on Fifth Avenue, uh, Museum Mile over next to the park. So Washington Square Park, kind of a cool story. This park was actually originally created as a potter's field, okay? In 1797, the city acquired this area this little plot of land as a potter's field. Now, what a potter's field is, is basically like this all-purpose field, right? Uh, it's like this all-purpose, you know, kind of like for all kinds of stuff, like burying people, for example. They buried people here, a lot of people. There's actually still, they say, thousands of people still buried underneath. In fact, whenever they do any work on the park, they always end up digging up some like cadavers and stuff. Uh, those people were dying, a lot of them, from yellow fever. Which, interestingly enough, in the late 1700s, early 1800s, was one of the reasons that this neighborhood became populated. Because back then, it was called Greenwich Village, right? And that was called that because it was actually a village. It was actually like a, a, this whole little town, kind of, outside of New York at the time. Uh, by the way, got Greenwich, the name Greenwich. I talked about this in the Greenwich Village video, by the way. You should check that one out. I'll put a little link in there, you know, like the YouTubers do. Pop, pop, whatever. I, uh, you, you get it. It's called Greenwich Village because of Greenwich, London, in the England. You know, it's like this neighborhood. Uh, like if you've ever heard of Greenwich Median Time, you know, like where the, the time zones get their thing, that's Greenwich. So, anyways, this was this was actually built in 17. Uh, sorry, was was, was uh, acquired in 1797, Potter's Field, right? And they bury people here. They hang people here. Mm, they hung people here. Hanged people here. In fact, right here you see to the left the Hangman's Elm. They say that is the oldest living thing in New York. It's a tree called the hangman's elm because it's very typical of the elms they had here back then that you would actually hang people from, they say. But this one, uh, they say, it was oh, you know, like 350 years old. They planted it a little shortly after the British actually acquired New York from the Dutch in 1664. Kind of cool. There it is, hangman's elm. So we're walking around the corner of Washington Square Park. This here is McDougal slash Washington Square West. You have buildings like this one. Check it out, Stewie get that that's 29 washington square west uh this is where eleanor roosevelt lived for seven years you know where eleanor roosevelt is stewie yeah. the, the wife to uh fdr fdr uh part of the roosevelt clan and they um they are a famous uh knickerbocker family of new york they have their roots in the dutch settlement of new york so you can get back on this side here stewie we're seamless baby look at us seamless 
So we're gonna walk back into the park and I'll keep showing you some stuff. You can see all the flags of NYU. NYU is the largest landowner in um, Greenwich Village. Uh, kind of controversial at times because they buy up some of the land and destroy some of the, like, the historic properties and stuff like that. Uh, one of the more recent ones was, uh, was the uh, Edgar Allan Poe house that they, uh, they took, they bought, and they were going to demolish the whole thing. All they did was save the facade. <laughs> so like the facade is on it, but the entire building inside is something else. All right, so we're walking back to Washington Square Park. I was saying this used to be a potter's field in 1797, right? So they use it as a multi-purpose field. They bury people here. Yellow fever epidemic, too, like I said, is one of the things that populated Greenwich Village. People were leaving New York downtown to, uh, you know, escape this yellow fever thing. A thing of like COVID, for example, way people left a lot of the cities and went to their houses and wherever. That's kind of what happened here. Um, so you can start seeing the fountain here in front of me. So it was a potter's field until the year 1826. Now this is kind of interesting. There was a guy who owned a lot of land around this area, right? He owned a lot of land. It was bequeathed from a, from a very famous uh, British uh, general. Uh, and he, uh, he passed down for the purpose of actually, uh, for the purpose of creating a home for aging sailors, right? So he gets this land, he's, he's given this land. But it's for the purpose of aging sailors, to create a home for aging sailors. But he's thinking like, well, I can make this land go up in value a good amount by just putting a park here. So he pushes the city to create this marching ground, park, marching ground here in 1826. And guess what? His land goes up in value a lot. So uh, he's like, I'm not gonna put a aging sailor's home here. That's nuts. So he cuts it up into properties and using the money from selling those lots, he then creates Snug Harbor in Staten Island. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That's a smart th thinker. So here you have the middle here. I wanted to take you guys kind of around, show you the fountain. All right, let's go back this way actually. I wanna cut, I wanna cut through the, uh, chest, the chest stuff. Oh yeah, this is a Washington Square Park. It was made into that uh, marching ground. They used to like drill militias and stuff. This is in uh, 1826. Then in 1870, it's created into an actual park. A man named William Boss Tweed actually created the first parks department. And part of what they did was they made this into a proper park. They put little paths, made it like a really nice, made the fountain and stuff. We'll talk about that a little later. So now we're walking down through you know, the chess area here pretty soon. Stewie, how you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. Yeah, what's new with you? Nothing much, grinding, comedy, you know. Stewie's a comedian, everybody. Very funny comedian. Yeah, we're grinding the comedy, the old comedy uh, scene here in New York. Speaking of which, here on McDougal Street, if you take this down a little further, you have a lot of the comedy clubs here in uh, downtown New York. You have, uh, obviously, the Comedy Cellar. You have the Grizzly Pear, a uh, bunch, of, bunch of stuff that if you wanted to come Check out comedy and a lot of people out and about here. This here is pretty cool. This is the uh, chess boards. So this is where people will come and they'll hustle you out of your money. Um, pretty awesome. I've actually come and played here before. Chess is the best. So addictive, man. You play chess, Stewie? No. It is unbelievable. I recommend you not do it because it's incredibly addictive. So the people here come and you can sit down and play against them. They're very, very good. Um, you know, people like Magnus Carlsen, the number one player, chess player in the world. He's like the cool guy. He's like 28 or something. He's the number one player in the world. He co he's come here before. Um, the Wu-Tang Clan's come here. You know, Amari Stoudemire, all these random people will come and just play here because the, the players are so good. They also kind of hang out over in Union Square. And one of the reasons they hang on Union Square is because they were actually renovating this park in the early 2000s. A lot of them went over there and they found out, hey, there's actually more tourists and people here in uh, Union Square. So what am I doing uh, in Washington Square? So they split. And now we go this way, yep. Here to the right, you have NY, one of the many NYU buildings around the park. This is the law school. Uh, NYU Law School, one of the best in the country, actually. You went to law school. Stewie. <laughs> Stop, I'm gonna start blushing. You're right, I did. I did, and I know what you guys are all thinking. You're thinking, oh, wow, look at you now. Oh, what do your parents think about that? Well, look, if you wanna know so bad, why don't you ask them? Because uh, they don't talk to me anymore, so. Aww. But yeah, I went to law school. Oh, here to the left, too. You have, this is really cool. This is in uh, New York Dosa's. So this is one of, the, one of the best food carts in the city. 
Uh, literally, like it, in 2007, got voted, voted the best food cart in the entire city. So these are little crepes. Uh, the guy's Sri Lankan, and little crepes made of rice and lentil. He puts veggies and like potatoes in them. There's usually a line like around the block here uh, for this guy. Pretty awesome. He moved here in 1995. He started his little cart in 2001. It just kind of took off. You know, he's like supported his family and you know, given them all the things he didn't have just from that little food cart. Pretty cool. That's a New York story right there. Here you have the dog park. Pretty fun little dog park. They don't let you in without a dog. Uh, Learn that the hard way. <laughs> I might guess I'm the creep who wants to go in and just hang out with dogs. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Don't judge me. Here to the right, you have the Judson Memorial Church. I don't know if this is going to get blown out or anything, Stewie, but this is Judson Memorial Church, also designed by Stanford White, uh, 1893. Now, um, very famous for like its protests and like the different kinds of speakers it has. But just so you know, Stanford White, we talked about in my Stanford White video. Mm -hmm. Sick plug. But anyway, Stanford White was the guy who got murdered on top of his, uh, his own building that he designed, uh, Madison Square Garden. He designed Madison Square Garden uh, and he got killed on top of it in 1906 by a jealous lover who shot him in the head after a show. <sighs> talk about a, uh, you know, talk about a bad night out. This is 1893, Judson Memorial Church, very, very, uh, pretty, pretty church too. People forget, like, back then, like, the, the architects of the city were kind of like the people. Like, they were the cool people. Stanford White was one of the most famous people in the whole city because he designed this, the Washington Arch. He designed the Madison, he designed the second incarnation of Madison Square Garden, the most popular. So now we're going to pop back into the park. Got a great view here of uh, World Trade Center. You see it? You see that, Stewie? I'll get in a B-roll, baby. A little bit, we see a little bit of far in the distance, but we see it. All right. All right, so now we're walking back in. Restrooms are over there. They just built those recently. Although, don't get your hopes up for the cleanest restrooms in the city, that's for sure. Kind of a circus in there. So now we're walking back towards the fountain. Interesting little fact about this fountain, uh, like I think like, must have been like 10 or 15 years ago, they moved this fountain 23 feet from, the, from my left, from the west, east. So it would line up under the arch. They spent like $3 million to do that. <laughs> Seems like kind of a waste. It's a little bit like an Instagram type thing. What's interesting is that the, the actual fountain was, at the time, was actually in the middle. It was actually in the like, on the east-west axis was actually in the actual middle of the park, but they moved it anyway, just so it lines up under the arch. Another thing to keep in mind is that there was actually traffic, like there was road that went through the actual arch up until like the mid-1900s and they pushed to have it closed, to have no traffic going through the park. Yeah, there's people who would come in, you know, will perform and stuff here. That's one of the things this park is actually famous for, is the street performers. People like, you know, Dave Chappelle used to perform in this park. Uh, Lady Gaga went to school at NYU. She used to perform here. Um, in fact, Dave Chappelle used to be mentored by a guy named Charlie Barnett. This is a real deep cut. If you guys don't know who Charlie Barnett is, look him up. He was one of the most famous, like, street comedians in New York history. He used to come and he'd hold court without even a microphone. Just go in the middle of that fountain and just get everyone's attention. He was actually supposed to be on Saturday Night Live before Eddie Murphy. He was going to be in Eddie Murphy's place, but he, was, he got, like, too nervous. He wasn't a very good reader. It kind of like made him all panicky and he kind of just bailed. And so Eddie Murphy got his spot. He made a couple movies, but then he died of AIDS actually early on in his career. Well, someone getting in trouble, I guess. Go figure. Here you have the left Garibaldi, Giuseppe Garibaldi. In case you guys don't know who this guy is, he's probably one of the most famous heroes in Italian history. He's a unifier of Italy. He fought so many wars. He also traveled around the world fighting in other wars of liberation, etc. Uh, really, uh, you know, like a pure, you know, kind of revolutionary. Uh, he's like the George Washington of Italy, uh, without the slaves. <laughs> Sorry, I keep bringing that up. Here's an interesting fact about Washington and his slaves. Here's a, I bet you didn't know this, Stewie. Two of Washington's own slaves escaped to fight with the British in the American Revolution. Did you know that? Did not know that. Pretty crazy, huh? All right, anyways, here to the right, you have the library. This is one other one of uh, NYU's 
buildings. Very pretty ugly building, actually. So NYU is, uh, like I said, one of the biggest landowners here. It's been here since 1831. Uh, it was actually founded by men. Uh, one of the people who found it was named Albert Gallatin. He was a Treasury Secretary of the United States, and he uh, founded uh, NYU. Um, it's very, very. It's one of the biggest liberal arts colleges in the entire uh, country, and it's also very expensive. <laughs> it was like I think it's like seventy-six thousand dollars a year to go there. Not that's right. You said it, Stewie. Over here, as we walk, I want to point out real quick, that's the Brown Building over there. Brown Building on Washington Place is over there on the corner. I'll get B-roll, don't you worry. But the Brown Building, famously home to, in 1911, the uh, Triangle Shirtwaist Fire. So the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire was actually uh, a huge fire that happened at the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory where a bunch of women, mostly immigrants and mostly very young, were locked in a room forced to work on these, you know, shirtwaists, which are basically blouses. A fire starts on the eighth floor and then spreads to the ninth floor but because the doors are locked to keep the women in, to keep agitators out, uh, they die. They either get burned to death, they either, uh, you know, die of smoke inhalation, or they jump. They jump from the windows. Uh, and this was like a pretty grisly scene, man. People were just hanging out, watching this all happen. And, uh, you know, in, in, in attendance actually was a woman named Frances Perkins, who later on went to become the first uh, cabinet member, female cabinet member in United States history under uh, FDR. She was 17 years old watching that all happen. People were jumping from the windows, a total mess. Here you have the Silver Center. This took the place of the original main hall of uh, NYU. This is where like all the classrooms and everything were. This is like where, you know, Samuel Colt invented the revolver. Walt Whitman used to teach. Um, Jonas Salk, like all these kind of people who were very famous. Uh, you know, uh, who else? Uh, but this is where it used to be and then they demolished it and then they built this fancier building in the late 1800s. Yeah, that's a fancy school, NYU, you know. All right, keep walking here. I like being part of like It's funny, I just keep walking around and you just keep seeing the same people. <laughs> I feel like I'm like in the Matrix or something. Like something is going to happen. Something bad's going to happen. So these buildings here, you want to get on this side of me, Stewie. This is all the row. So these are some of those houses. I was telling you that they developed all these houses around the park and stuff. These were developed around the park, late 18, 1820s, early 1830s. This is the row. Uh, people like Edward Hopper lived here. Uh, Edward Hopper, famous painter. Number three, he lived at number three. Uh, Winslow Homer used to paint on the roofs of these buildings and Samuel F.B. Morse, who uh, tried to make it as a painter, wasn't very successful, although they have some of his paintings in City Hall here. Tried to make it as a painter, wasn't able to, got really depressed, but he ended up uh, inventing and perfecting the telegraph. Ah, the Morse code, ah, look at that. He actually debuted and demonstrated the telegraph here at number 22, uh, right here on this street. And most importantly, of course, most uh, you know, famous, most important, uh, influential event of the row and Greenwich Village is right there is where Will Smith lived in I'm Legend. You guys remember that movie? Those of you guys who are under, I guess, 25, uh, Will Smith is uh, Jada Smith, uh, Jaden Smith's dad. In case you guys don't know who he is. I feel like, I feel like no one that age knows who he is. That's where he lived right there. Just the exteriors, by the way. The interiors were shot in a studio. The houses are pretty tight inside. And so here we're back to the north end of Washington Square. You can see the fountain, which, by the way, was designed by Jacob Ray Mould, who was one of the assistants on Central Park. He helped design Bethesda Terrace, for example. You can see the, how the fountain is lined up in the middle. Big emphasis on Instagram, you know, big emphasis on taking pictures. You got to line up the fountain in the middle, spend $3 million. I thought it was kind of cool having it a little bit off to the side, but, uh, you know, what does my opinion matter? Then over there in the back, you have the World Trade Center. There's the uh, there's Judson Memorial Church. Here you have these cops that are looking at me weird. All right. Well, um, that was a nice, quick little walk. Not uh, you know, a little stroll. You know, you can check out the other video I told you about in Greenwich Village. If you want more information, Washington Square. Oh, also too, you can go inside the Arch. I don't know if you knew that. They actually locked it up. You're not allowed to anymore. But there used to be an office up there. There's actually like an office. You can actually go up there and hang out. In fact. Uh, people like Marcel Duchamp in 1917, I believe, they actually climbed up there, went up and like, you know, put a flag up there and declared a free republic of Bohemia. They had like this huge party or whatever, it was a big thing. 
Uh, but they've locked it, so you can't go up there anymore. Or can you? <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, I think that's the end. I don't know what to tell you guys. We, we made it to the end. We made a little little stroll, nothing nothing crazy. Giving you the, just the basics. Washington Square Park, you guys gotta come and see it for yourself. Great place to people watch. Like I said, lots of like, uh, you know, also celebs, huh? You wanna see celebs? They always come to this park. They used to hang out with their kids and stuff. The, you know, the little playgrounds and stuff. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. Before I go, please check out the Patreon. It's a huge help. Uh, you know, keeps funding these videos, got some extras on there. Also, too, like the video, give it a thumbs up at the very least, and subscribe at the very least. I'm gonna keep making these, baby. You're gonna know everything about every, not just New York, every city in the world one day. Every neighborhood of every city in the world. All right, I'm rambling. Uh, Stewie, how, how are you feeling? Feeling good, man. Yeah? Was that a quick, easy? Quick and smooth. Yeah? You don't feel too exhausted? You don't feel too tired, sad, happy? I'm happy. You're happy. It's a beautiful day out today. Day yeah, it's a beautiful day. So, uh, all right, well, that's pretty much it, guys. This is Washington Square Park, the quick and dirty, baby, the quick and dirty. Uh, maybe one day I'll do a longer one or whatever, but did Greenwich Village already. <sighs> that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. See y'all later. Sick.